Hello. In this video, we will discuss cylinder compression testing. Cylinders are actually sealed chambers with control openings, which are the intake and the exhaust ports. A cylinder compression test measures the quality of combustion chamber sealing. A cylinder with a good compression provides more power than one with low compression. Compression can be measured in two different ways, differential or direct. A differential pressure test, also called a cylinder leakage test, measures air leakage in a cylinder. The tester has two gauges, as the one shown. One indicates pressure going into the cylinder, and the other indicates how much pressure remains within the cylinder. A safety note. This differential pressure test can cause the propeller to rotate suddenly and without warning, as I will demonstrate. This pressure test should be accomplished by two technicians. It is not possible for one individual to safely perform this test. Before performing a compression test, run the engine to ensure that the piston rings, cylinder walls, and other parts are near operating temperature and are freshly lubricated. Turn the ignition off and remove the key. This will prevent any accidental firing of the engine when the propeller is turned. Remove the most accessible spark plug from each cylinder. Place your thumb over the spark plug hole of the cylinder you are testing. Caution! Never stick your finger into the spark plug hole. Turn the propeller by hand, rotating the engine in its normal direction of travel until the piston in the cylinder you are testing is coming up on the compression stroke. Once you feel the compression building in the cylinder, remove your thumb quickly to hear the compression release. This will place the cylinder close to top dead center. The piston is now coming up on the compression stroke and both the intake and the exhaust valves should be closed and sealed. Verify that the shutoff valve on the tester is closed. Connect the compression tester to a compressed air source regulated between 100 and 150 PSI. Pull the pressure regulator knob to unlock, then adjust so that the left hand gauge reads 80 PSI. Verify that the shutoff valve on the tester is closed, and then connect the tester to the compression tester adapter in the spark plug hole. Ensure that the propeller path is clear of all people and objects, then support the blade to prevent rotation. With the regulated pressure at 80 PSI, read the cylinder pressure gauge on the right. If the cylinder pressure gauge indicates less than the minimum allowed for the engine, further maintenance and troubleshooting will be required. Reference the maintenance manual for those additional procedures. Assuming that a cylinder without cracks, air can leak in three areas. Past the intake valve, Past the exhaust valve and past the piston rings. Leakage past the exhaust valve is typically identified by hissing or whistling at the exhaust stack. Air leaking past the intake valve can usually be heard through the induction system. A hissing sound in the crankcase breather or through the oil filler cap indicates air leaking past the piston rings. Upon completion of any troubleshooting or maintenance, and once all cylinders exhibit satisfactory pressure tests, reinstall the spark plugs to their required torque and generate a return to service maintenance record entry for the work performed. This will conclude the procedures for differential cylinder pressure testing. Thanks for watching.